everybody. I hope that your day is going absolutely terrific today. It is Fresh Tip Tuesday. I'm Corinne Brown, the Fresh Expert, and I want to thank you for joining me. Right now, I am live at our Tupperware studio here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm going to share with you guys a simple, easy, and amazing recipe that can take the pressure off um, this Thanksgiving as we're getting into the holidays, and it's going to definitely be something good for you as well. What is that? Well, if you read the tag above, you will see that today I am making apple crisp in the Tupperware pressure cooker. See, this weekend I took my kids apple picking. If you guys have never done that, I'm telling you, you got to. It was so much fun, like grabbing all these different varieties of apples from the trees, walking around. We kind of ate some right off the trees. Shh. Um, but it was fantastic. Everything from Fiji apples to stamen to Rome apples. We even got some um, green apples. I mean, there were just so many. Granny Smith's, I just, I was in heaven. Um, so I have all these apples and I'm like, what am I going to do with them all? So today what we're making is apple crisp. Now, Right now it is finishing off in the microwave. So let me kind of break down for you what I did. The recipe is loaded at thefreshexpert.com. So you'll be able to go check that out. Of course, I kind of changed it a little bit, but I'll share with you what I did. Okay. So what we did is we took Tupperware's pressure cooker. Now you've seen me use the pressure cooker a lot lately. I love it. It is a microwave pressure cooker um, that is a glass plastic composite. It is dishwasher safe and you can do a roast in 30 minutes, a chicken in 20 minutes. Last week I did risotto in 18 minutes for you. So many great things that you can do. Okay, so in the base of the pressure cooker, I went ahead and put um, sliced apples. Now I took four to six apples, typically depends on how big the the apples are but you're gonna want to have like a couple cups worth okay so you're gonna take um, a half of them and you're gonna put them in the base of the pressure cooker then you're gonna take one of those cinnamon swirl cake mixes and you're gonna pour half the cake mix on on top of it then you're gonna take half of a stick of butter all chopped up do it then then you're gonna do the rest of the apples the rest of the cake mix and then the cinnamon swirl mixture that they have that comes in the package and then another half a stick of butter all chopped up. I mean, how easy is that? That's like three-ish ingredients, right? Now listen, if you do not have one of those cinnamon swirl cake mixes, you have the muffin mixes that has the cinnamon streusel topping to the side along with the cake mix. It's typically like a yellowish cake mix. You can do what I did today. So today I took a spice cake mix and then I made my own little crumble, okay? And I made my crumble using Tupperware cinnamon vanilla seasoning. We can do this for you at the next um DIY class that we do and then there's also the spice mix so this is what I used and I took about four tablespoons of the cinnamon vanilla seasoning and I combined it up with about a fourth of a cup of um, brown sugar okay so mixed all those things together layered them up like I said half the apples half the cake mix streusel half the chopped butter it's one stick of butter completely so then half a stick then you do the apples, the mix and the strudel, and then the butter again. You're gonna put the top and seal up your pressure cooker and do it in the microwave for 15 minutes. Now one little fun um, tip that you need to know about the pressure cooker is you wanna make sure that you let it kinda decompress where the pressure comes back down in the microwave. Don't pull it right out. You wanna see that little nozzle, the pressure indicator fall while it's in the microwave. So let me grab that so we can see if it's fallen or not, and then I'll give you some fun apple tips, okay? Ooh, it's still sizzling. Sizzle! I love it, it smells so good too. All right, so you guys can see the pressure indicator is still up, so we're gonna let it sit for another second. And while it is, I gotta give you some fun apple facts, because here's the cool thing. The first time I was ever on WBTV, I actually shared an apple, a rustic apple tart and fun apple tips. I mean, there's that whole saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? Well, that's because apples are full of antioxidants that reduce and damage your cells. It actually has no fat, sodium, or cholesterol. And here's the cool thing, why you should always eat the peel, two thirds of the nutrients and fiber from an apple is actually in the peel. So make sure you wash them, get that wax off of them that's in the grocery store. If you go apple picking like I did, you don't have to worry about that. And just make sure you include that too when you're eating them fresh. Typically when you do your pies, you won't need it then, okay? Now here's a fun thing, did you know it takes two pounds of apples to make an apple pie? 
two pounds. What? Okay, here's another fun fresh tap our tip, um, boron is in our apples, and that actually helps with your memory because it stimulates the electrical activity. And for us women, I like to have these great things. It actually helps with menopause. So if you know anyone who might be a little moody or menopausal, tell them to eat an apple. Okay, here's another one. Apples, I love this, I love facts. This is your like, the whole reason it's Fresh Tip Tuesday. Apples symbolize health, love, and fertility. Aww. In fact, apple blossoms are symbols of fem feminine beauty. And here's fun. In mythology, did you know it's believed that there were magic apples that helped kept keep the gods youthful? So, an apple a day will keep the doctor away. It also can keep the Botox away. So, guys, you don't need that stuff anyways. Fresh is better. Be who you are. Never change. Stay. All right, so our indicator is down. So now we can check out our amazing apple crisp. And then I have one more thing to show you. Do you see the steam? Whoosh, so cool. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Look how amazing that looks. So yummy. Okay, but if you're gonna have apple pie, what else do we need? Dun, dun, dun. Whipped cream. Fresh whipped cream is the best whipped cream. Now, using our Tupperware Power Chef, normally you'll see me use it with the cutting blades when I do my recipes, but I love it with um, the whipping blade too because fresh whipped cream is always better. I don't measure, but it's really simple. About eight ounces of heavy whipping cream or heavy cream or just the whipping cream, whichever one. About a tablespoon of powdered or of um, vanilla. And then let's do a couple heapings of powdered sugar. I think it's like typically supposed to be like a fourth of a cup. I can um, type it in the comments for you guys so you actually have your portions. Then you pull the handle. As you know with the Power Chef, every time you pull, it's like hand whipping or hand chopping a hundred times. So you don't need to have that big old monster thing. Keep your life simple, do it together get a workout because then I'm not going to feel bad about eating the apple crisp or the sugar or the cake or the whipped cream because my triceps are getting really good. All right. Maybe you guys like that. All right, so if you are in the Charlotte area, make sure you come and visit me at one of my Fresh Tip Tuesdays so you can help me eat these amazing recipes. Remember, we can always make these recipes in your home when you date your own Tupperware party. And if you love the pressure cooker, but you don't want to pay the retail price of $149, then you definitely need to send me a message right now so I can show you how you can get that pressure cooker for only $15. Say what? I know craziness. Okay, but seriously, our whipped cream is done. Isn't that beautiful? So let me show you how this is going to get put together. I need a napkin for my hand. So we're going to take, just for presentation, we love presentation, right? Take our amazing apple crisp. Oh my gosh, the layers in this are so pretty, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this. Do y'all see this? Look how pretty the layers are. It's so steamy. So steamy. And then, of course, you'd want it to cool a little bit more probably so it doesn't. But then do your dollop of whipped cream on top. Mm. Apple crisp, Tupperware's pressure cooker, 15 minutes. Message me now to find out how to get this amazing pressure cooker for only $15. And make sure you join me for the next Fresh Tip Tuesday. Get the recipe at thefreshexpert.com. Thanks for joining me. Uh -huh. Oh my God, they're so good. Okay, never mind. Don't come join me. I'm eating this whole thing. Uh -huh. mm. It's good. Check out the recipe. Go make it. Tell me what you think. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.